My company is called Wireless Car. We do IoT for the automotive industry. Our company is uh, based in Gothenburg, Sweden. We have offices in uh, US and China as well, and we're about 300 uh, people in total. Before moving to the cloud, our IT environment was largely based on uh, static on-premise servers where we were hosting uh, uh, big Oracle databases and JBoss application servers. Our initial uh, business case when moving to the cloud was our uh, test and continuous integration and continuous uh, delivery environment, which uh, needed a lot of servers in, uh, in the peak hours of the development uh, time. And uh, our second uh, business case was when we started to launch uh, our microservices into production. We also needed a lot more services than we could provide on, uh, on premise. We work with the AWS uh, support team by having monthly workshops where we meet for two, three days and uh, work on uh, different problems we have, uh, findings they do to help us and uh, come up with solutions how to solve our problems. The relationship we have with AWS support is totally different from any other vendor we've worked with. AWS support really wants us to improve our applications, our uh, utilization of services and uh, reduce the cost of our services, while other vendors it's more about signing license agreements. When transitioning to the cloud and uh, at the same time delivering new capabilities to our customers, it's hard to keep focus on everything that we had to do in order to transition successfully. This is where AWS support came in and helped us uh, with uh, uh, keeping track of cost, keeping track of optimization and new services that come out in AWS uh, so that we could optimize our deliveries. Moving into AWS uh, cloud has transformed the way we deliver our solutions to our customers. While we were on-prem, we were able to deliver two to four times a year. Now that we're in the cloud, we deliver bi-weekly. When solving our issues, uh, rolling out our uh, automation uh, into the cloud, we used AWS online support a lot, and uh, we used them both for general guidance and for uh, support when things didn't work as we expected. The really positive uh, experience was using the general guidance, where it was like talking to an architect that helped us solve our problems before we even had them and then when we had an incident or something happened we get really timely help to solve the problem and that's kind of a uh, recommendation I, and I, I usually say to people that uh, I mean I love AWS uh, services and uh, uh, the pace you guys deliver but uh, what I value the most is the relationship we have with AWS